you know, you may want to know that uh, if 100 people land on your web page, how many times do you sell them, right? So if you get 100 people uh, to come to your page, so say that we skip this landing page and we go right to her sales page, and uh, she sells 10% of those people something, okay? So she gets 10 sales. Uh, she gets 10 sales. Well, I'm doing it, I'm actually doing it backwards, but say that she got 10 sales. You know her conversion rate is 10%. You know that she's selling one out of 10 customers in this relationship. So conversion rate relates to um, the percentage of time you're selling something. But it also, I, I, again, I'm not going to bring on the tidal wave yet, but Conversion rate can mean a lot of different things. Like if you had, remember I showed you my MSN example? Okay. My MSN example, there was conversion rates happening right here and right here. Okay. So how many times people clicked on this? There was a VTU opportunity here and one there, but there was conversion rates on each of these offers. So uh, don't get caught up in that piece. Conversion rate is just simply a, a unit of measurement which says, what percentage of people do I actually sell? Okay. Um, now, here's, um, now we're going to shift to the revenue piece of it, okay? And again, this is terminology that I hate the way it's written, but it's, um, it's written like that nonetheless. But, but it's what's called earnings per thousand, okay? So you have your cost piece of it. You know that media costs you this much. And now you want to figure out how much you're earning from a, rev from a CPM perspective. So the goal here is, I think I have a, uh, I think I have a slide here, but the goal here is, is it's a unit of measurement that will help you buy. So uh, let's see, I, if I'm really good with my math, I should be able to give you an example of what my eCPM, well, no, I won't be able to. Uh, it's too much for me to do right now, but if I had a calculator and some time, I could show you what my eCPM was on that Microsoft buy, okay? I know they served 140 million impressions of my banner. I know I made, uh, what is it, 40K. So I can back into what my earnings per thousand was. And so this is an important terminology because what you want to do is if you can establish your earnings per thousand, you can then go find inventory that's less than that and make money. So again, it's a, it's a unit of measurement. It's an indication of how much revenue you should earn every time an ad is shown a thousand times. So um, to figure this stuff out, it's, it's, it's quite easy, okay? So if you, if you know that... Um, uh, if you know that you served uh, an ad, say, a million times, okay? A million times is a thousand thousand, okay? So one million times your ad shown. We could even just use, for argument's sake, uh, one CPM. But nonetheless, that's a thousand CPMs, okay? And if you know that uh, that thousand CPM, so it's, say that, uh, let's see, so uh, you know that that elicited some amount of revenue for you, okay? So, a thousand CPMs. Um, uh, uh, let's say it generated, uh, I don't know, fifty thousand dollars. Again, this is a I'm trying to make this example. Let's let's just do it this way. This might be easier. If one CPM, okay? <laughs> Sorry if I'm going all over the board. Uh, that they served you at a thousand times. So say that as a result of them doing that, you had click-through rates, you had conversions, you had sales. That elicited you $8 in revenue, okay? Your eCPM now is $8. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Kind of? You know now that your goal now is to go find inventory that's under 8 bucks a sale. Now, the reality is it might be lower, it might be 2 bucks or a buck, but the point is you want to understand if you go out and buy 1,000 impressions of something, you want to understand or have a good sense of how much money that should make you every time that's shown, okay? I hope that um, makes sense. It's a little bit uh, funky. Um, we talked a little bit about earnings per click during the break, and earnings per click is the same type of thing, right? So you want to understand how much you should make, and again, the CPA networks are doing this for you. They're basically letting you know, in this case, um, they're not doing it here, but in the example that we, we gave with, um, with ClickBooth, okay, um, which if I can spell, that would be helpful. Wow, that was nice. I figured people misspell that a lot. Um, ClickBooth is going to give you an earnings per click estimate. Remember we looked at this and we decided that, you know, we want to figure out campaigns that make as much money. So here's their earnings per click report. So it's basically telling you, it's not guaranteeing you, but it's saying on average, 
if we took all the affiliates that are running Colothin, right, and, um, you know, the, 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 for the month, and I'm not sure the unit of time they're looking at here, but for the month, um, it, it, it elicits uh, 1,000 clicks. And, uh, you know, those 1,000 clicks we know should uh, give you $5,000. You know now your earnings per click are $5.21. So again, you as an affiliate marketer, you want to find sources of traffic that are less than $5.21, okay? Now, um, that could be easy to do, it could be hard to do, I'm not sure, but that's the idea of earnings per click, is you want to have a good understanding of um, how much money you're making every click you get. Does that make sense? Yeah, no? Yeah. If there's any challenges, let me know. But it's earnings per click, okay? But one of the most important units of measurement only because primarily the media you guys are all gonna buy, you know, today, tomorrow, in your lifetime, it tends to be cost per click oriented, right? So if you're on Google, if you're on Facebook, if you're on many of the self-service ad networks that we talk about, that media tends to be cost per click media. So if you have a good sense of your earning, it's just a simple math. You know your cost, you know your earning, and you hopefully make a margin in between as an arbitrage guy. Figuring out your EPC, again, very, very straightforward. You have clicks, you have revenue. It's revenue divided by clicks. If those 100 clicks generated you 300 bucks, you know your earnings per click are three bucks. Your job is go find traffic that is under three bucks, okay? Um, return on investment, that's why we're, we're all here. We don't wanna lose money doing this stuff. So ROI. So I gave this example, uh, where I, I'm giving some examples on the board, but this might, this might put it in more, in more perspective for you. Um, this was actually came out of a campaign that I did this year. Um, I gave some examples at the last show, the job show. Um, but um, you know, in this example, I bought a thousand pieces of creative, or a thousand times they're gonna show my ad, and I know that cost me 25 cents, okay? So 1,000, that's 25 cent CPM. And it turns out that this is pretty high targeted stuff. I got 10 clicks, which is 1% click-through rate, okay? So I have 1% click-through rate now, um, which should give me 10 visitors. Um, I converted one of those visitors, so 10% of those visitors, or 10% of those visitors, or one person bought something from me, okay? And in this example, I was giving it to a, uh, a co-reg company. So that one sale elicited me a dollar twenty-five commission. Okay, so now I have pretty much all my math lined up. It cost me twenty-five cents. The middle part, which we talked about, was the conversion piece of it. My click-through rate was one percent. My conversion rate was ten percent, and my VTU was ten percent. Again, if I'm going too fast, just just tell me to slow down. Um, I know that that one sale elicited me a dollar twenty-five. Okay, now now this is my revenue piece of it. I know now my eCPM is a buck twenty-five because I've served a thousand ads. I've made a buck twenty-five. My eCPM is a buck twenty-five. I should be able to go out and buy inventory or add inventory all day long at a buck twenty-five CPM or lower, and hopefully make ridiculous amounts of money. I know that my earnings per click—I I didn't do a good job. I said eCPC, but it's really e EPC is now twelve and a half cents. Okay. So now my job as a media buyer is to go out and find inventory that cost me less than 12 and a half cents. But nonetheless, I turned... Sorry? You wanna see it? Uh, let's go to Bing. Okay, um, this is... Uh, okay. So this, this is some guys doing it in the UK. My results will be different, but, the, the, but I bet you this is the same guy. So uh, this is, I was doing some banner buys. My last presentation, I showed you some banners that I used. I don't know if you remember that. If you don't, uh, this is similar, but this is a CPC buy, because this is on Bing. So we were spending maybe um, eight grand a day on Bing, and we were in the job vertical, okay? So, Again, this is UK based, but I'm pretty sure this guy's doing the exact same thing as I was doing. So job search is a very highly trafficked word in the US uh, because we're all unemployed over there. Um, that was a joke. But I'm sure it might be somewhat in the UK as well. So I, I, what I figured out was where are people searching on Google, Bing, Yahoo, and I want to interject myself into that flow of users, okay? So job search turns out to be a very highly trafficked, trafficked word. 
These are all sponsored listings, of course. So let's go here. So in my example, let's see if this guy's doing the same thing. Uh, he may not be, he may be doing something a little bit different. But in my example that I showed you guys, uh, the cost of that click was, um, that wasn't a good example because that was a display, display based buy. All right. So that I'm going to say that I'm looking for a dishwasher job in London. This is what Shaq used to do, but now he's making all this money. Um, Shaq, are you here to beat me up? Oh, sorry, bro. Sorry. You're gangster, bro. I'm not gangster. It's okay. Um, so in my example, uh, and I can actually show you my site. Is it Local Job USA or uh, this is an example of a site that we built? Okay. So I was driving people to this landing page, um, and people were typing in all kinds of things: dishwasher in Los Angeles. Yep, this is one of uh, 20 I had for this type of project. And I gave, the, I gave you some of the numbers at the last show where I showed that I think in a couple, in a month I could make 20 grand. And I think if we really focus on it, I'm sure I could make a lot more. Um, yeah, I know, right? Um, so, uh, you know, step one, I don't collect any information. Step two, I can collect some information. So now I know who this person is. I have their email address. So I'm mailing them, hopefully pretty nice. I have their cell phone address. I've now sold that to a call center for a certain amount of money. Who's laughing back there? Give me your email address. Okay. Is it possible to pass on this information? Like, is it not affected by any law or that? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. You, you deal with that in terms and conditions. Uh, you try to tell people as much as you can. I agree to the terms and conditions. They can click on it. Uh, you can look at my privacy policy. So, you know, again, different. Uh, someone talked about different landing page styles and stuff. But you want to make sure that when you do things like this, you have a privacy policy. You have terms and conditions. So you're showing people what you're doing. Um, so, and we tell them that we will be sharing the information. yeah, you do in the terms and conditions. Yep. I'm not going to give you my real number. Fake number. Should I not tell this number? Uh, don't call me. <laughs> I'll call you. How's that? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so in this example, I'm being paid by a, um, if it works here, let's go, let's go. It's hanging up here. I'm being paid by a, a lead gen company in the co-reg space. They're paying me a buck 25 for that lead, okay? I don't know why it's hanging up. Maybe this is an old site. But nonetheless, that's how the math works, is I'm driving customers, I'm finding opportunities. So I found an opportunity with jobs, right? Because I look at this stuff all day long. I figured out how to create a site that emulated my biggest competitor. I reverse engineered it. I ran some of my own traffic. It was lossy at first. I made some tweaks to it. 